council has decreed you may come and go as you please. You know those stones to the east of here? I heard they did some digging and found they aren't natural. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Indeed. What is it you would like from me? The Council has told you nothing of the Grove? Do not be so quick to judge circumstances about which you are ignorant. Not everything may be as transparent as you would believe. The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? Very well. What is it you wish to know? Ah, yes, those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinrath spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? As I have said, I believe, my name is Nemo. I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. Indeed, my young friend, that I am. I have served the Council for many years, and have seen many apprentices pass through this enclave. I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something else I can help you with? About me? I am truly... I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. I serve the good and, hopefully through that, the people of the Republic. Is there... I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at it. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife Rilke here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms. But the cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. I'm not sure exactly what the Council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Well, well, the ones you'll most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. 
And now Arlen wants to get the council to do something. Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too, but he disappeared. Nurik, of course, blamed Arlen, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Arlen's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Arlen blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Arlen, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yes. May the Force be with you. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. But you have been accepted into the Order. Yours is the authority of the Jedi. I will give you all I have. Just please, annihilate them from the face of this planet. Enjoy the time you have here on Dantooine. I think the Council might decide to move to a different world. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title much longer. Master Jar tells me that your progress has been remarkable. Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? With power comes responsibility. And only by learning discipline and sacrifice can we truly learn to master our potential. I wish you luck in your training, Apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. Ah, a coup. Runda di Hotonga. bothering me. I'm here to speak with the Council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the Council of your rude behavior. Ah, uh, Hakupa 
ce copa? Gino mulera ken paija, kislimu po duama? Ce do baduana ni di bobo? Tong na bungsha nununya, tong patukas mak talea. Gino mulera ken paija kisli mo po duama? Mucho shak pa khat. Kie no no nama pao le rachikun? Apprentice, I trust your training goes well. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Master Vruk may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? The Mandalorians have not hurt anyone before now. We thought they would keep their activities down with our presence here. But it seems we were tragically wrong. You may deal with the Mandalorian Raiders should you meet them. It might be good training to test your fighting skills this way. Is there anything else you would like to know? Very well. May the Force be with you. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come as you should... Your confidence is admirable, but you must guard against pride and arrogance. These lead to the dark side. Revan's tale shows... May the Force be with you.
it is good. How go is that? I hope your time is. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? The cat hounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. No, the door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Well, yes it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock.
Kie no no da ma paule raciku ta kuchu stachniki grabu mogo kachichu ita botunga dodo bank wale oganda na kuchu bole shia punga bola wana chike mule slimo poda da na kumbis mule rabes jeto bado wana ni gibobo tonga bunja nunya tonga tu kashma kalea. ドンドディドンドクディカンダコンデイスチンパラムレトンキンバムレトンキンチャトゥコンデムレラベスカチコンイタオドンダイキンコンパムレラチコンステモポトナディオドンダクディカベトンハイコンチジドンプパリタポエ
and I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Balut came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. How can I be of further assistance? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> it, injured? No, of course not. Why, why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. How can I be of further assistance? Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison he belongs in? So, what do you want to know? Well, I was out hunting Eriaz south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an Eriaz in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. bullock has got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. So, what do you want to know? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some Eriaz. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot and pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body and the Eriaz was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with it, so can I go now? So, what do you want to know? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. So, what do you want? Well, I was out hunting Eriaz south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. bullock has got that now. Mine too. I want that back. Right. Kupachi. <laughs> Mule slimo, poda da 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 nanga, kumbis, mule rabes, jedo ba do wana nigibobo. 
Tong na bung sha ni nung ya. Tong patukas mak talaya. Tong hai tuam jiji jung lumpa. Ni tapu e tikito. Tolpa da bong kwaleo gandonan chuchut. Kachi chu ita dung donga. Yu malita kuto dun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulira. Mucha shak pa khat. Kie no no nama pa ole rachiku. Ta kumjus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachi chu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogi sha punga bola wana chikye. Pa mule slimo puda da da na nga kumbis mule rabes. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three. Is there any other? He's there. So is there? Very well. How can I be a further assist? Well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard it. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea. Master Bo... I hope that you... How can I... It... How can I be a... I was taking my... Yes, a healthy body. How can I... I will. I just... I know it. Master Bo... I hope that... Of course. So, what... Well, I was out hunting Iria south of here, and I saw one. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an Iria's in sight. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. So, I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some Iria's. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot, and pow, it went down. But what, now I don't have... Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Right.
Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchu. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto tun. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Ta kumjus tachniki grabu mogo. Kachi chu ita bodunga. Dolpa bang waleo ganda naru chuchut. Bogesha punka bola wana chikne. A mule slimo poda da da nanga kumbis mule rabes. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Iking kuno pa mule ra chikun. Slimo podo na rende haldonga ku kumkabe. Mucho sharpa khat. Kiye no no nama pa ole ra chikun. Is there any... The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a Speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow Spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Very well. So, what do you want to... Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. So, what do you... Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? We should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Now I don't love... We've been part... Well, so I told you I was in my book. Now I so you Jedi are so predictable, always seeing some greater purpose behind everything when the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Right. How can I be of further assistance? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime.
How can I be afraid? Um, disrupt now. Certainly, I can block off, maybe sure, but not kill it. Oh my! I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Nedick, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. How... Of course. Oh. Run the decap. Run the. Oh. Tak umjul stak miki grabul mogo kachi chumu ita bodunga tolo bank wale oganda naru chuchut mogi sha punga bola wana chine. Mule slimo pudadara nanga kumbis mule rabes ka chikun ida hodonga ikin kuno pa mule ra chikun slimo pudona gundi hodonga kun kabe mucho shak pakat kie no no dama paule ra chikun. Is there any other information you need? We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks a Speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Cole. Is there any other? According to the municipal authorities, apparently a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in it. Is there any... These plays... There have been a... So... Is there any... Anyway. So... That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. So. Right. How can I be a further assistant? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an Erie has can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be a further assistance? It... injured? Of course. Is there any... I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Very well. How can I be a further... That blaster was... I hardly have enough, even an... I would most... How can I be... Of course. Oh. Oh. Runga di hotonga kun honga di. Wana kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek. 
Tu nincs tukun ne vulerabes. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Ikin kun opa mulera chikun. Svimo podona rundi haldonga ku hunkabe. Mujushak pakhat. Kiyinu no dama paole rachikun. Is there any other information you need? I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the Empire just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Corbus. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Corba. Is there any other information you need? Very well. How can I be a fruit? In injured? Of course. So, what do you... Now I don't love Calder. We've been... Right. So, what do you... You jet... Can't you... I don't know... Right. Oh. 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 On a conveyor's ching palamule, tonking barunotek, tuk nincha tukune mulerabes. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Chitu baduana nidi bobo. Tong na bungsha ni nunya, tong patukash mak telea. Ta kumjus tachmiki grabul moko, kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank, wale oganda naru chuchut. Bungisha punga bola wana chine. Mules limo, puta da 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 da, cumbis, mule rabes. Runda di rotonga, cun hanka di. Wanda cun bez, ching pala mule, tung king ba nunotek. Tuk nincha tu cun ne, mule rabes. Tong abom sha um nina, wanda cun bez, ken vale murra. Choni yon tun chichi ida duana. Kava volpa muji kumana. Ta kumjus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Ma mule slimo poda dala nanga kumbis. Mule rabes. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Ikin kun opa mule ra chikun. Slimo podona rundi haldonga ku hunkabe. Runda di haldonga kun hunkabe. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tunking ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Tong haid wam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu, dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut, kachi chu ita dundonga, yuma lita kuto dun, chila mulane nindu bobo, onga kumbis chang ba mulera, tem, tem poser, ta kumjus tachmiki grabul moko, kachi chu ita bondunga, dolpa bank, waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mugisha punga bola wana chikne. Mamule slimo huda dala nanga kumbis mule rabes. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Ikin kuno pa mule ra chikun. Slimo podona rundi haldonga ku hunkabe. Tong hait wam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto dun. Chilamulane nindu bobo. 
Wonga Kumbistan ba Mulira. You did good. You might just make a proper Jedi yet. Who knows? Achuta. Wonga Kumbistulbi Kikuyana. Don Patugas Makilia. My orders are clear. Please leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted on the family's land. Let's <laughs> go. 
C842, a personal assistant droid. Who knows? 
They are beasts, and they've been very aggressive of late. I'm sorry if I seem a bit abrupt, but I must be moving along. I am rather in a hurry. Not so much as where I am going to, but where I am going away from. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She... she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. You don't want to know. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people, and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people. Living people, please. Will you destroy me? Why? Phew. You're right. How could I be so selfish? I must not think only of myself, but of how it affects her. She must be frantic. And if she lost me, she'd be devastated. I must return then. It is my duty.
Steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock.
You are strong. Stronger than me, even in the darkness. I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Yes, I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? Talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. You... you do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back. Or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Why? Because I am right. That's why. I can see the truth in your eyes as well. Do not look at me again. Is it you want? Why do you bother me? The Council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? Not anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I 
I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. If I show them I am free of passion, that I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side, maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I have done? The Council may forgive a lot, but not this. I am lost. Even though I would repent, there is nowhere left for me to go. Leave me to my hopelessness. How can I ever... I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me again. I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Thank you.